Okay, we're live. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hello. Hey, everyone. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, Maggie, I don't know if you could see comments. I should have mentioned that before we went live on your screen. I see private chat and comments over here on the right hand side. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I see 11 people watching. If you could say hello. I know there's a delay always. <laughs> it's always interesting. There we go. Here they come. Hey, Laura. Okay. Hey, Rebecca. Just want to make sure you guys can hear us. Okay. Got my wine. Oh, she's got ready. her wine in her list. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I Tracy. love it. Tracy and Megan. Hi. Hi, everyone. All right. Well, welcome. So we wanted to uh, get together and go over Travis's pre-order list because we've all been huge fans. Look at everyone. Hey, Steph. Hey, Kristen. And Stephanie. Happy Sunday. I know it went by too fast. It did. Yeah, the whole weekend just went by. I'm like, no, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. All right. As people are coming in, um, I, I'll just ask this. What are you ladies warming today? And I'll start with Maggie. Oh, today I actually, I've ha I had to change my wax today. I'm not a change my wax type of person in the middle of the day. But I started off with Destination Wax, some zucchini bread blends. Went about half a day. And so I just um, put in, uh, one of, worked on one of my Scentsy Bricks, the caramel chestnut. And that thing is, is just blowing everything away today. So. Yeah, that's uh, I still have half a cube. <gasps> Travis, hey, hey Travis. Travis. Oh, you can jump in live if you want, if you want to jump on camera. <laughs> I hope you're having a good weekend, Travis. My keyboard's like way over here. I can't Where fight. Where did I go? What happened to Maggie? Uh oh, did I kick her out by accident? <laughs> oh no. Oh, weird. I'm coming back. I'm not logged in, so I can't do any comments. So, oh, so okay. No worries. I'm just it. watching the live. So I, know, I know better now. <laughs> no worries. So <laughs> Travis just joined us. He's he's there. Uh, we were just talking about what we we're all warming. But before we, I always jump the gun. Let me introduce my friends here. So we have Dazzling Sense with Chris, and we have Summer Michelle, and we have Maggie Lamb. So, um, and then Christine will join when she can. She's putting her little her little boy to sleep. Uh, and we wanted to talk about the pre-order, but I'm, yeah. I'm super happy Travis joined us. So oh, I hope fine. you're having a good weekend, Travis. Get some rest because you're going to be busy next weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Travis, if you're still here, you have a question from Re Rebecca. If you are, um, if they can use your discount code, I don't know. Oh, he's heading to bed. Heading to bed. Good for you. Good for you. I hope you had a great weekend. <laughs> Hi, Amy T865. I can't comment because I didn't log in. Can you type? <laughs> you see a little column with, with, uh, yeah. And it says join the chat. And if I join, it wants me to log in. And when I log in, it, it like takes me out. Oh, Maggie, can you do it from your phone? I'm like watching the live from my phone and commenting live on here. Oh. I don't know if you can do that, but that's what I do. Because I'm not tech savvy. Yeah, I got my laptop next to me. Yeah. Yeah. So Travis says he's going to have a Black Friday deal. Ooh. Oh, so excited Keep about coming that. back. I know we're trying to do a no buy, <laughs> no buy till 24. That's we're failing <laughs> miserably. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to make it. Uh, I was good this weekend. Well. Okay, so Maggie was warming destination wax. I think is that is that what you said? Yes, I had um, the zucchini bread blends. I think zucchini bread harvest, zucchini bread um, pumpkin, maybe. They started off great. I mean, I got like four and a half great hours. I really did. And then it was gone. But like you could hang meat in my house. It's so cold. 
<laughs> you know, we're back to where Brad won't turn the heat on. So <laughs> I'm the same. I'm not turning mine on yet. No. Nope. And it's cold today. Yep. 40. <laughs> I turned my heater on yesterday morning. It was six. I know you guys are going to laugh at me because I live in California. Okay. So we don't, we're, we're averse to cold, but it was 64 degrees inside. I'm like, it's getting, that's a little chilly. Chris is oh, like, no. I'm turn on the heater for a little bit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, Chris, what are you warming today? Well, as a bad girl today, I never got to my warmers today. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I was so busy and I had every I did four videos today. Whoa. So I, what I put, what's in there that needs to be changed is I've got black hood going. Um, what else? Oh, breakfast in bed. Oh, good one. Love oh my one. God. It's the only bar I had. And <gasps> I said, I'm going to warm this. I'm going to warm it. And I loved every second of it. That Sensi needs to bring breakfast in bed back. It, so good. So good. It smelled like toast with butter and strawberry jam. Not the scent notes, it. but that's what it smelled like to me. So, yeah. I've never smelled it. Oh, it's good. So good. Like I could cry knowing that I can't have it. It's that good. It was so, yeah. Rebecca's saying congratulations, Chris. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Summer, what are you warming? So I was late. I came back into town today. And so um, I just popped in some Knowles Farm to get ready for this live. So I did Warm the Soul and I Heart Carbs, which are two of my favorite ones from him. If you guys have tried it, Warm the Soul is really good. It's by the fireplace, Palo Santo and Zucchini bread. Yes. And then I Heart Carbs is sugar cookie dough, fresh baked bread, and vanilla custard. So, you know, Bready Bakery is like my thing, right? So, there you go. So good. That's a good I'm one. looking for my, my loaf. Today, <laughs> or last night, I put in ghost stories from Rose Girls upstairs. So, that's still going pretty strong. Yeah. And and then down here for tonight, I'm warming. Let's get cozy. From that's my uh, and that was from you, Summer. You actually gave me this one. Oh yay! Ooh, that's on you're enjoying it. And it's on the list, I believe. I believe it's yes. on the list. So we'll get to the list in a second. So that's what I'm warming. I think we all have a little pile of, of Knowles Farm Sense wax near us, so we can go through the list and sniff anything, and oh, maybe talk you. about what we want to buy. Um, hey, Courtney. Like just looking at the comments really quick. Oh, I was in the eighties in Tennessee today. Wow. Oh, that was too. last week. 85 today. Like what is happening? Wow. wow. Rainy and cold here. Mm. Same, same, Maggie, same. <laughs> and Kristen, I just saw your post on Facebook. So you happen to stumble upon us. So thanks for joining us. So yes, a newbie. Yeah, we're, we're here to help. We're here to help you shop. <laughs> All right, so I have a list here. Let me present it. Let's see if I can get it up here. Um, and I'll make it bigger. Hold on a sec. Oop. Is that big enough for you guys to see? Oh, I think yeah. so. So first thing on the list, and then anyone in the audience or on chat, feel free to ask us any questions. Uh, that you like. Uh, most of us have tried a lot of these uh, and can give you some some thoughts. Uh, Laura's <laughs> cold front moving in. 50s tonight in Houston. Hey, oh, finally wow. some cool weather in Texas. They need it. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> what is <laughs> Amy says, get at least two of everything and you're good. Yeah, pretty much. Right. <laughs> pretty I much. agree. I agree. Let me make this bigger one more. Okay, let's see here. So first thing on here is beach evenings, roasted marshmallow, sea salt, ginger blossom, coconut, vanilla, and driftwood. Do any of us have? I do not have beach evenings. 
I have it. I can't find it. I have an entire loaf of beach evening somewhere oh, no. in this house, and I cannot find it. It is not where it should be. But I remember it. It, it was it was beautiful. I mean, it sm it's it smells like beach nights. His his beach nights is what we all know as beach nights. I have a beach nights and leaves blend that he did. Amazing. I got comments from a salesman who came in my house who loved it. Really? Them. Yes. Okay, that's impressive. Yeah, the the what do you those people that, that put those things on the roof? What do we call those again? Solar uh, panels. panels. Got yes. it. He loved this. So it's okay. like Thanksgiving and fall in my house. So he has a great beach night. He does. I'm smelling, I have beach evenings and cookies. So it's Me too. beach evenings, but without the cookies. It's a it's a really good. So if you like beach nights, I would say it, it smells like beach nights. It's this is good. I'd say it's pretty close to and correct me if you think differently, because it's pretty close to like a sassy girl aromas beach nights. Oh that's, I think so. I would I, say that. Yeah. So if you're familiar with that one, I'd say that's the vibe I'm getting from mood sweet and creamy. Thing. It's very creamy. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine isn't just plain beach evenings. It's beach evenings with cookies. So I think it's probably even better. Uh, oh. Laura, Laura is asking, how is the ginger? And if it's if you're asking for this one in particular, it's not. It's, no. it's a ginger blossom, so it's more like a floral, not like a spice. But it's a it's a typical beach evening scent. So if you like beach beach nights, mm -hmm. you'll like beach evenings. Yeah, don't let the notes scare you. It smells really good. <laughs> Yeah, I am not familiar with Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds from him. I don't know if any of you are. No, nope. I have it in a blend somewhere. Sounds amazing, though. It's... Ah. Okay, I have Palo Santo cookies on the boardwalk. Okay, which is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. And Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds is a bath and body type, right? I think. I think so. And I think if you're familiar with um, Teddy B's, they, she does a lot with a Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. But I think she calls it something else. But it's it's the same kind of, is it like her I Heart Vanilla? Is that her Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds maybe? You know what? Sounds I've familiar. got cookies on the boardwalk, which is Sugar Cookie Royal and Boardwalk Marshmallow okay. Club. Okay. And I've got it with Palo. Both it, of those sound great. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, don't be afraid of the, the whole magnolia. No, okay. it's, it's not. It's not. No. It and adds just a little bit of a floral, just slight, very slight. Yeah. How's the it's sandalwood? Gorgeous. It's soft, very, it's very, soft. very soft. You can mix anything with boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Yeah. I would I agree with you with you, Maggie. Yes. So okay. Amy has cookies on boardwalk, so that's I have not tried it. I think I think that's a yes for me. Yeah. And you can mix it's anything pretty. bakery, fruit. Yep. Anything. And I'd say for anyone who's new to or hasn't tried um, Knowles Farm Scents, and I'm making a generalization here out of the quite a bit that I've purchased, um, even more than I've probably shared on video, um, I would say his notes are, they don't fight each other. I would say he doesn't, he's not heavy handed. So if you see something with like cinnamon and you're worried about cinnamon, it's, it's not, not heavy, heavy handed. handed. Yeah. Yeah. He just, he just uh, uh, mixes, uh, mixes them very well. I got like a weird echo. Can you guys yeah, hear me okay? Weird. Can you hear me okay now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's not heavy handed in his, uh, his notes. They don't fight each other. And that's a generalization, but that's been my experience. 
Uh, and Amy says, exactly. All right. Um, next, calm down, Jamal. So he offered this at the last RTS. I do have some here. And all I'm going to say right now is his strawberry pound cake is one of my favorites. So pretty much anything that he has with strawberry pound cake, mm -hmm. I loved. He's offered, uh, I think, cheat day is another one he's offered. This is this is calm down, Jamal. I have it in front of me. And uh, it's it's his strawberry pound cake is so good. So that's his strawberry pound cake with sugar cookie. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. It's, and I'll say I'm not a strawberry pound cake lover just because strawberry pound cake is usually not strong enough and not strong enough strawberry for me. His is, is strong. I bought it by itself just so I could try it. And it's it's different than other strawberry pound cakes. It's it's sweeter, I think. Yeah. For it's me, like, it's a little sweeter. Yeah. I think it's like a night. It's almost like the strawberry you get like in strawberry ice cream, I think. Like it's like a... Creamy strawberry. It's creamy, yes. It's creamy. creamy. It's not fresh picked strawberries because I don't like the strawberry with green, like a green note. I don't like the garden strawberry. This is not that. It's to me like a strawberries and cream mm -hmm. kind of a pound cake. Kristen is asking, how is his throw overall? It's very yeah. strong. I think it's good. I get a I get good throw from excellent. Um, Travis's yes I get pretty good throw it does depend on the blend like his coffee was like you know his coffee for me was like wow I need to take it down a little bit the rest of his bakery blends I get a pretty good throw yes. I'd probably say from a scale of one to ten I'd say probably depending on where you're doing it if you're doing it in open space I'd say like a seven in the bedroom I'd say it's great how long are you carrying it, Martha? Because I get excellent performance from his bakery, but you know, I've got some that's over a year old that's throwing like a champ. I mean, yeah, my like oldest is strong. September. My oldest is September, so that's fairly okay. recent. Yeah. I have but, some that's over a year old that I I kind of, you know, I put it where it was supposed to go and forgot that it was there and I've pulled <laughs> it now. But this this cozy evenings that I did, where am I at? Um earlier last week, it was a 10 out of 10. Now I did warm a, if you, if you like to warm candles with your wax, which I do, um, there is a beach nights candle out there from goose Creek. It's called warm and welcome it smells just like beach nights. And I had that going along with this, but I got a lot of leaves in this blend and it, it was, it was, I mean, the guy was on my porch saying how good my house smelled. So that's how strong this was. And I have, you know, huge, tall ceilings and huge open space. So really happy with this one. Yeah. I, I might I'd say it's like with anything, it depends on the scent or your home or anything. His pumpkin pie pound cake, which I had like, less i think i warmed it within maybe a month four weeks of having it wow. and that really performed really well um mm -hmm. i also warmed the other day and it'll actually be in my my what i've been warming video tomorrow it was uh autumn harvest i think it was i did have that in a bedroom but that went for over a day i was like a day and a half so wow. and it was really strong uh tammy is saying what's your question here? yeah well, he posts a list. It's his list is up actually, Tammy. That's where I got the list that I'm looking at right now. So his list was posted, I want to say like two weeks ago on his just, Facebook group. Yeah, just yeah, about two weeks, I think. Yeah. Search like November 3rd. That's what I had to do because it's not pinned or anything to the top. So if you just like search yeah. that in the group. Scroll down a bit. But this this the list that we're walking through is actually what's in his Facebook group. Uh, Rebecca's asking, who plans on ordering every cent? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. If I can't find that loaf. <laughs> For sure. Um, so, so far, I'll tell you that I'll probably order, I do have, calm, I have a loaf, I think, of Calm Down Jamal. So I have a loaf of a couple of these, which is probably why I wouldn't. I won't be ordering all of them, but if I didn't, I would, I would, um, I will definitely 
I will definitely get Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds because I do not have that one. Um, this one is new to me. It says new name for Tastic Marshmallow Dreams. Mm -hmm. And this is fir, pine, buttercream, and sugar cookie, marshmallow sugar. It's reformulated in a new name. So I don't know what the old name was. I don't have anything with uh, anything from him with a tree note. I couldn't find anything in my collection. I do. I have pine. What was it? I just warmed it. It might be upstairs. I don't think I brought what I warmed with food. I have pine, and I recently smelled something with spruce. Um, okay. I like trees with bakery, so yeah, I think I'll get that one to try. I'm I like it. fir as well. I like fir and pine, and so yeah, I'm gonna get this one as well. Chris, are you? I'm going to get it. Yeah, are you? <laughs> you go, I'm gonna girl. do the. I'm gonna do the chunk, just to you know. Yeah, I'm gonna find a vendor that you know. I can handle the trees. And it's heavy bakery, so I think you'll like it. That's what I'm thinking. You, you know, the bakery may, you know, calm it down a little bit. His loaves are 13 and a half ounces. Yep. That, I was just looking for that. 13 and a half ounces in his chunks. <laughs> I don't have a chunk with me, but his chunks, I just had it. His chunks are uh, five ounces. So just the chunks is five ounces. It's seven seventy five per bag, and then the loaves are nineteen dollars, and that's thirteen and a half ounces. But back to calm down, Jamal. Like I feel like everybody needs that. It's a good like entry scent if you want to try his wax, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah I agree because it's not there's nothing no crazy uh, spices in it and. It's just two nice scents that come in together. It's nice. I might have to try it. What, calm down, Jamal? Yeah, you should. <laughs> yeah, I've never tried that one because of the pound, the strawberry pound cake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have a couple questions in my mind that I've, I've noted, Rebecca. So you asked about... Uh, pumpkin pie pound cake, which we'll get to. And then we'll, we'll talk about with scents are loath worth, loaf worthy as well. I am going to get this fantastic one though, because I do love free and bakery. Um, and you're going to get it in a loaf. It's really good. What was that? You're going to get it in a loaf. I'm getting, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah I'm going to get a loaf because I love, I, I do love tree and bakery scents. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we should ask that. So what are you getting in loaves so far that we've talked about? I'm doing beach evenings and boardwalk marshmallow clouds in a loaf so far. Yeah. So far, I'm just doing chunks because okay. I have a beach evenings loaf somewhere in this house. <laughs> <laughs> she got to find it. So this... The next one here, Holiday Truffle, this might be one, I don't know. I'm not a chocolate. I don't like chocolate in wax. So this is the mm. only one where I may skip it. Although I, I'm sure it would smell good because so far, you know, like I said, his blends are really blended really well. Um, but then but just get the chunk, Martha. You're not helping me, Chris. Well, you know, <laughs> but I, I know I really, I am. <laughs> Because then you're not going to miss out. The pecan <laughs> and the toffee intrigue me in that one. Yeah. I saw butter. Yeah. Butter. You guys, have you guys tried his raspberry? Like, that's what, I mean, yes. I feel like the white chocolate so. will be a little creamy, which I don't mind. It's not going to be like a heavy good. cocoa. But, like, the other notes, I'm really, like, I'm kind of liking. So, I think I may try it. Right, because white chocolate really isn't chocolate. Right. It isn't. It isn't. So Amy's saying it's good. Amy, have okay, you had it Amy. before? I'm assuming you have. Okay. So Amy, is it loaf worthy? Yes. Is it loaf is, worthy? Is his raspberry floral or is it bakery? His raspberry is bakery. For me, what was the, it was last in the last RTS I got, hey Charity, I got, um, I got, uh, what was it? It was, oh wait, it's right here. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> is this it? Nope. Oh, oh berry beans. That's raspberry. what it was. 
His oh, raspberry yeah. was okay. in berry themed, and berry themed. it's the first thing I smelled right off the bat. You're right. And okay. it's a, I thought it was a raspberry raspberry. Yeah, it's bakery, not heavy chocolate scent. Okay. All right, then I'm getting it. Yeah, I'll get it in a chunk. I'll get the holiday right chocolate in a chunk. All right. I'm wondering if it'll be a little bit like cupcakes at Tiffany's, a little little bit kind of like that maybe with the white chocolate and the toffee. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh. I think I'm going to try it. Yeah, you should. Sounds good. Okay, so so far we're we're doing we're doing good here. <laughs> what are y'all um, getting but, loaves or just chunks? No, I'm going to get do. the holiday I'm going to get a chunk in the holiday truffle. Me too. Yeah. Maybe um, two. I don't know. I'm looking at the size of a loaf. <laughs> How many I don't pieces can you add later? <laughs> I feel like I want my more now. And... So his chunk bag, I don't know if you could see this. This is a strawberry pound cake in a chunk bag. So there it was like three big squares. It's like five ounces. Five ounces. Yeah. How much is a Sensi bar? How much? How many yeah. ounces? Three point two. So it's just two ounces more than a Sensi bar. I don't know. That's not a lot. Yeah. I can a Sensi bar. <laughs> yeah. So I'll so, get a chunk. It's a good amount. So you're saying we should get a loaf, Chris? Well, if you go with a chunk, you're really going to get like one melt plus a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah, but if you get a loaf, you have to chop it, and y'all know how I feel. About well, that. I know, but you know what? <laughs> I think I don't. I don't chop my loaves. I'm not done with that because then, then the bags get nasty. Yeah, because yeah. here's a loaf, and here's right. a chunk. Yeah, and the chunks go like one to two worms. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I guess you still kind of have to chop the chunk anyway, right? So. Yes, right. Exactly. All right. So, yeah. I love they, chopping wax. I'm going to send mine to you, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> but see, when you chop it, then your bags get all, like, icky. Smushy, yeah. So, like, I like to take it out, cut what I want, put my loaf back in. <laughs> I don't know if I can get my little page back up there. Well, that's not what I wanted. All right. Anyway, you know what? We're I'll just tell you what we're what we're working at. It's um so next we have let's get cozy, which I'm warming right now. That's cocoa butter, cashmere, and palo santo. I don't know if I have that one. That's a loafer for me. This is really good. Order? Me too. I love it. Yeah, I don't have that one. It's so pretty and smooth. <laughs> like I like it a lot. There we go. Hey, Chris, Stephanie, Steph says uh, she's going to start a side hustle. She'll chop it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but then my bags get dirty, Stephanie. Then I end up with them dirty, messy bags. What do you do, Chris? Just chop it a little bit at a time when you need it from your life? Uh -huh. And then I put it back. Yeah, the bags stay a little cleaner. But I want to find a way to chop it and put it all back into the loaf. That's an idea too. Ashley Overly can do that. Really? Yeah. Just watch her chop and chats. The way she chops wax, it amazes me. Cause I mean, I get it all over. I have it in my hair. I have it all over. And hers just go <laughs> right back in her little tin. So perfect. See, that's yes. That that I would like. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's get cozy is it's just very pretty. And I would say it's cozy. So I love it. I do like his Palo Santo a lot. It's um, and then the the cocoa butter cashmere. So it is, it is like has a body care characteristic to it because of the cashmere. But it's really pretty. Do I like? Do I need a loaf? <laughs> I don't. I don't know that I I'm need a, a loaf. chunk in that one. I'm gonna get a chunk. I think I'll probably get a chunk because I still have a little bit of this one. So. No, and then charity. I kind of want to get a loaf. I feel like it'll be a good blender, like on its own, or even like you can just blend it and make something a little, you know, more creamier. 
you want a little yeah. body care vibe. I don't know. I like it. It's pretty. It is pretty. Mm -hmm. And it does have a cozy feel to it. There's something, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the name or what, but it's, it's, it, it smells really good. So I do like this one a lot. Um, let's see. Can you, I don't know what I did with my tab here. Let me see if I can present it again. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yes. All right. Mad tea party. That's a yes. That is absolutely, absolutely. everybody needs it. Yes. That's I have a snap bar of it right now and mm -hmm. it's it's, it's so good. It is, like it is the best tea and cakes. Absolutely. Steph, if you're asking about cozy, mm. what was the one? The let's get cozy. Let's get cozy. I am warming it right now down here just because I wanted it down here. But I would say it's more of a bedroom set, in my opinion. But that's that's just me. Yes. Mad like tea party. This will throw. One. It's good. So definitely get the almond macaron in the cupcake and don't let the lavender tea scare you. So if you guys mm -hmm. think you're worried about lavender, it's not, mm -mm. Uh, don't worry about it. I, I feel like I'm mostly getting the almond and the cupcake and the icing. You, and it's just like a tiny a little, tea note. You pick up a little citrus or something in here. I do. I do feel like I get a little citrus. I feel like it's not as much as normal though. Alexis asked what makes it different. And I feel like there's not as much of an orange citrusy note in a regular tea and cakes. Cause sometimes I feel like that's all I smell. Okay. It's, it's the most bakery tea and cakes I've ever smelled. It's beautiful. Yes. I, I don't know how I got the bakery to come out like that because I've never smelled a tea and cakes with that much sweetness and bakery to it. It's yep. great. I've got a loaf and I'm getting another loaf. Like it's really good. Mm -hmm. well, I'm getting a loaf in this. That answers Kristen's uh, question here. So I I would get a loaf of this. Absolutely. It's really good. It is very bakery. Um, I've only smelled one other brand or tea and cakes, but this is to me not that. So kind of going back to what and you it's said, Megan. It's bakery, but it's not that. Um, it's not it's bready. It's not, and it's not heavy and dense. It's a light in, not light in scent. It's just light and uplifting in like a fresh bakery, like a, you know what I mean? It, it's not that heavy weighted you down sweet. No, because I think, I think like you're right. I almost do get some kind of a citrus, maybe like a little orange, yeah. like a little, maybe a little orange. Yeah, um, just kind of, it's, it's just good. It's so like good. Like an orange scone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a scone. Yeah, that's there's it. no lavender. I don't smell lavender. Yeah, Steph, I know you love lavender. Um, it's not as I don't really get a lot of lavender. I don't either. It's so good though, Steph. You should try it. <laughs> well, Charity, you could try the chunks. <laughs> he no, has chunks Chris and he has loaves. So Martha Christine's here. Can you see her? Oh, oh. hi. Yeah, let me get you. Hold on, Christine. How can I? Hold on. There you are. It won't let me. Here we go. Hey, Where Christine. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Hey, guys. You got your little boy to go to sleep now? Oh. He's a, he's a terror. <laughs> <laughs> get some wine, Mama. I need more than wine. <laughs> Join uh, summer. I think she's got a little Join vodka summer. mixed in that water. Summer's got a little vodka. <laughs> it's been a rough so you, one. Oh. So should I put something in this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're just at Matt Tea Party, Christine. Yeah, I heard you guys raving about it, and you know me and almond, so. Uh, but it's not that kind of almond, really, Christine. It's no. It is, but drunk. it's. It's kind of nutty. It's not like cherry, right? Oh no, no. I don't. Have you smoke tried cherry. tea cakes before from any other vendor? Yeah, um, Rose Girls. Oh, I've never tried hers. Um, hers is more orange, and I don't know. Christine, get a chunk. Like, just try it. I think you'll <laughs> like it. <laughs> just kidding. 
<laughs> some are your enabler for sure. Yeah, if you don't like it, you some. can share it with any one of us. Well, yeah. you know, you know. So I have not, have I, I don't think I've chopped his loaves yet. I so haven't. Far. So you haven't? I, I have. Not. And it's, they're actually like, you definitely have to microwave them. Um, they're extremely mm -hmm. hard. So I, I really? love, so I hate chopping really? wax. Um, and I actually, I think I might, I might've asked, um, I don't know who it was. Maybe it was you, Martha, but I said, I'm like, what do like, what does everyone do typically for Knowles? Because with Knowles, um, if you're used to Teddy B's, it's really, really soft. And even, um, what's the other vendor that I'm drawing a blank? That's pretty soft and you don't really have to, you know, microwave, and but, and, but yeah, it's second and spruce. She's that, soft. They, yeah. They're both really smooth. But when I went to go chop up his, um, pumpkin pie pound cake, it literally just crumbled into like a million pieces. So I'm like also okay. kind of on the fence about getting loaves, but yeah, uh, I think Steph said to microwave it. Good to know. Someone said to microwave it for like 15 second intervals, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I, feeling the loaf now. It is a harder wax. Yeah. yeah. I uh, just for the first time chopped up a Sassy Girl Aroma loaf and I did stick that one in the microwave for like. Same. Yep. Same thing. I, had to stick that. I think I stuck hard. in the microwave for 20 seconds because I was worried. <laughs> And then I, I stuck it in for like another 10. I kind of turned it over and then, then, then it's, then it chopped smoothly. Then it was like easy to chop that one. So, all right. So let's, so anyone familiar with his chai, I'm not familiar with Marsala chai, No, but I do like not chai. Yet. So I'm getting this one. Ooh, but the star anise, uh, that one scares me. But again, like what I said earlier, I don't feel like he's heavy handed on anything. So even though there's star anise in here, I'm actually not worried about. I, mean, I not, have I'm, his sweet maple chai. Okay. But it just says vanilla bean, brown sugar, buttercream, maple, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And it is not spicy at all. So I'm thinking okay. the Marcella is going to have a little more of a kick to it. Yeah, with the, with the cumin and cardamom. and Yeah, because this one is just sweet and maple-y. Yeah. I think so, it's going to be pretty though, because you got mm -hmm. the, you know, spicy and then star in his honey and milk and like, it'll be, maybe the honey and milk will tone down the, the spice yeah. and smooth it out. I'm gonna it sounds get yummy. I'm going to do a chunk. I'll probably get a chunk of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Natalie's making, <laughs> making a comment, Summer, the wax addict. Oh yeah, it's so true. I have to say it every time because I feel like, you know, no buy or a low buy and it's just not happening. Like I'm just, I can't do it. Just don't say know? it. It's not yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, let's move to the, I think now infamous pumpkin pie I'll pound love. cake. That's a loaf. I'm just telling you right now, that is a loaf worthy. Go with a loaf. Go yeah. with a loaf. I bought, you know, the regular size bags he had the first time and I only got one uh, and then I had to go back and get a loaf because, and I don't buy loaves. So if you know me, I'm not a loaf person, but I had, I love the scent so much. Yes. Total loaf. So good. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yes, Alexis. This is a loaf worthy. This to me was, it's so good. It's so good. It's amazing. It's the weirdest thing, too, because, like, honestly, I heard you guys all raving about it, and I'm not the biggest fan of pumpkin souffle or, or just pumpkin. You know, it has to be, like, a sweet pumpkin. It has to be the right blend. And, y'all, this blend is is fire. It's, it's something about it. It's fire. Yeah. Everyone get, get it. it. <laughs> yeah. Stephanie says it, get it. It's unique. That's why. Yes. Because it's – bakery but again if you're not a pumpkin fan it makes you like pumpkin so yeah that's what is so good about it it's just smooth and creamy i mean that's why i just had i was like i have to get a loaf and and warm the soul which unfortunately yes he's not offering but that one was just like money it's just such a good scent <clears throat> i have warmed the soul i haven't warmed it yet do it it's good 
I need to try that one. <laughs> so yeah, good. good. Yeah, the pumpkin pie pound cake is just, to me, it's a homemade pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. but it's, it's that it's the filling in that pie. Mm -hmm. That's it's just that yummy filling Ooh, of the mm -hmm. pie. Mm -hmm. So good. It is so good. It's so authentic. There's like nothing fake about it. It's not over spiced, and it's just so good. I I get the butter. I get like a buttery pound cake. Yeah, if there's if there's anything on this list, well, there's a couple things, but I would say this to me, like if you're only gonna get one loaf, yeah. mm -hmm. I'd probably say it's this one. Pumpkin. Mm. I could sit here and smell that for hours. Oh god. The vanilla pound cake really makes it for me, not being a pumpkin lover. That note alone is just like, I don't know, it does something to the blend that makes it for me, you know, not being a huge pumpkin. It's good. Yeah, that one's a good one. The next one here, Rustic Cookie Cabin. This is new, but his sugar cookie dough bread is great. And I love, love roasted pine cones. I love roasted pine cones. I've not, I don't think we've done it before. Although Summer, I think you did a blend with Rust. Yeah, I did. You I knew, I knew you had something. Um, I'm so excited for Rustic Cookie Cabin, you guys. Like that is a me blend right there. But his roasted pine cones is good. It's like, um, it's like Sassy Girl because it smells like Oath. You know that one. I've got both of them. Let me just. Okay. Very, very similar, if not spot on. To Oath? Yeah. To, to the roasted pine cone note. To the roasted pine cone. Okay. What about to Beth's? Is it similar to Beth's pine cones? Oh, I love roasted pine, pine cones and. Lavender and speckles. I didn't. Uh, uh, let me. I didn't grab hers, but I mean, honestly, I've never really smelled a roasted pine cone that I didn't like. Summer, you're not helping the situation. I but, do have know, a loaf, though. <laughs> his sugar cookie dough bread is just one of those two that, like, it's one of those scents you could blend with anything, and I would like it. But I feel like that roasted pine cone is just going to give it, you know, a treat, a, a tree vibe, and that's just going to be tree and bakery is like yes. It's a yes. It's a loaf for me, too. I, I did too. have it as a loaf because of you, Summer, so thanks. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm getting a loaf of that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to. Did you guys say well, what if I don't sugar... like it, I'm sending it to you guys. <laughs> did somebody say what was in the sugar cookie dough bread? It's zucchini bread, Amish friendship bread, and sugar cookie. So it's yeah. amazing. It's really good. I think I have that. Yes, it's good. I love his bread. Yep. So that is that is definitely for me a loaf. Now, tis the season: green tart, juicy apple, cranberry, cinnamon, and vanilla. Mm, the tart scares me. I have it as a question mark with a chunk. The green apple scares me. I'm not a green apple person, so. I'm any kind of apple. Um, What is it called again? The one we were just talking about? Let me see. It Rustic Cookie Cabin is the one with the roasted pine cones and sugar cookie dough bread. And the one I'm talking about now, let me get back to presenting. Uh, the one I'm talking, the one we've moved on to now is Tis the Season, green, tart, juicy apple, cranberry, and cinnamon, and vanilla. I'm going to say no, but I'm scared I'm going to have like severe FOMO if it's like super good and I don't have it. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, going to skip I'm going one. chunk with it. I'm also nervous about the cinnamon because sometimes cinnamon, like I've learned with Sassy Girl that a lot of hers comes off spicy cinnamon and you know me and spice. Yeah, but his cinnamon is not very heavy. 
Yeah, he does. He doesn't. He isn't heavy handed on all the items. You're right. I think I agree. It, he blends similar to Erica, I think, which is just like the right amount of ratio for each of the things that he puts in them. So I'm going to skip it. I'm doing it. I'm skipping it. I need to skip one. I'm skipping that one, too. I'm going to skip that one too. <laughs> I'm also not a big cranberry person. So it's got juicy, mm -hmm. it's got green tart, apple and cranberry, which is not, not my scent preference. Um, Maggie, Alex, I mean, sorry, Maggie, let's see. Susan was asking if the zucchini is savory. I, yeah. Yeah. I get, I mean, I get, I'm trying to figure out what she means by Favorite. It's my favorite zucchini bread. His zucchini bread is my favorite from anybody. I love it. Um, but I think you, I get a lot of the Amish friendship bread. I mean, it's kind of like a, a bakery cinnamon sugar with it in that friendship bread, I think. It's, yeah, it's good. Not straight zucchini bread. It's sweeter and creamier. I yeah. Feel like. Yeah. It's so good. I, Mm. And there's sugar cookie mixed in with too, in with it too. Right. Yeah. So that helps. So like Susan, it's not corn chippy. No. Or feet. Not it's all. like it's, not it's feet. a good. Yeah. It's a good. It's good. Bread. Yeah, I don't get that. Nope. Yeah, no, Steph is saying it's good. Zucchini bread. Yeah. Amy's saying no corn chips. Pearl says we're making her list longer. That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. We're here to help. Um, okay, so it looks like any. So is anyone getting this one? I heard skip, skip, skip. Which one are we talking about again? Just um, the season. Just the oh, season. I'm, I'm getting it. Yeah. See, I'm gonna skip it because I really want to try his holiday truffle, and I heard you guys talking about it before I got in. So I would rather try that in chunks over the tis the season. Can't get everything. Um, Why? Well, I said he... <laughs> <laughs> Laura says he asked, she asked him about this. What did he say? Oh, he said the cinnamon is in the background. It's uh, yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Although, what was I warming? It was called... It'll be in my video tomorrow, but it was like, it had an apple. It was apple and cranberry uh, autumn harvest. I think it was. And that one was strong and it lasted it vibrant, autumn? vibrant, very strong, vibrant, but it was the fruits, definitely fruity heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not this blend in particular, but his juicy apple. <laughs> Susan, tis not this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to okay. the good stuff. I have this one. Sugar cookie dough and Palo Santo. It's a must have. Loaf. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a loaf or two. Honestly. I'm getting loaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I thought it was a loaf. I don't know. I mean, yes, it is loaf worth, but I just have, I have a mini loaf right now. So I'm like, I don't know if I need. It's so good on warm. Have you warmed it? I haven't warmed it yet. Good. I mean, honestly, anything with follows on to it's so good. So this one, I do really like his Palo Santo as well. Yeah, a little bit of Palo. Mm, it's just sugar cookie dough and Palo Santo, so you can't. I mean, you kind of can't go it's wrong good. if you like if you like Palo Santo and you like those scents, you'll like this one. Yeah, it all like depends on if you want a little or not. Okay. I'm gonna follow to that. Yeah. Let's just smoke it up a little bit, you know. <laughs> Christine, do you like his Paulo? I do. That's why I, I the warm the soul. I think I, everything's upstairs, but warm the soul has Paulo in it, and it's isn't it Paulo by the fireplace and zucchini bread. And yes. for me to like zucchini bread, like that someone was asking before, like it does not smell like feet. Like I typically, again, if you've watched 
I'm not a fan of zucchini bread, and he actually made me like it along with Dessa. Dessa has a really good zucchini bread as well that doesn't come off kind of like cheese, foot cheese, no, I don't know, but corn chips. Someone said corn chips. It's corn spot chip. on. Yeah. So, yeah. Some people say I, it's I like, it like dog, like dog hair, or dog, like a wet dog. dog. No, um, his Paulo, oh. is it smoky or masculine? I'd say. I think it's. Creamy. creamy. Yeah. I don't get a cologne note. Yeah, I'd you know, say it's Teddy You know, it's creamy and it's to me it's like Teddy Bees. Yeah, I agree. And also similar to Salt Mountain Melts. She's got a really creamy Apollo too. And her what is it, Coven? Coven? Um, that one is really creamy. She's got a good Apollo blend. I have charity. I don't maybe. think it's masculine though, or no. Maloney at all. No, I don't either. I wouldn't warm it because I don't like. Mm. I mean, I like the smell of man, but I don't want my whole house to smell like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't smell like a man. It's smoky, and it's creamy. But I'd say, I I give it a little hint, a little hint toward, but not not really, just a teeny bit. Um, Light smoke. Light like smoke. A, yeah. <laughs> more um, smoky than Colony. Yes, much more smoky than Colony, but not super smoky either. It's, it's to me a really, really good. It's a good. Woody, that's a good one. Woody, 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 it kind of sounds like October 3rd. Is it like that? I just don't I don't think so. No. It's sweeter because it's sweeter than yeah. dough bread. I, yeah. To me, I don't know. <laughs> Rebecca likes the <gasps> corn chip smell. Corn chip smell. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And Steph, I'm with you. I like masculine scent. So, but this, that's, you know, I wouldn't worry about this one. The good stuff is good. So I don't know if I'm, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to get a loaf just because I have a lot of wax, but I would recommend that one. Okay. I always Stephanie. lose my... She's funny. <laughs> Gonna have our house smell like sexy man all day. <laughs> I like sexy man. What's wrong with that? That's a good scent. Um, okay, last one here. Treats by the fireplace. Loaf. 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 You need it. I got it. Loaf. That has all the good things. Yeah. You guys aren't really helping the situation. You know that. That by the <laughs> fireplace. No, whatever is in that, I'm gonna get anything that has that in there. You guys, it is so. Sweet and smoky. It's incredible. I don't know what's in it. You guys, it's great. Yeah. Amy begged to bring uh for him to bring treats by the fireplace back. It's loaf 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 worthy. Um I, I would say so. I have it in a loaf and that by the fireplace is that by the fireplace. So it's good. We all love by the fireplace. So Natalie's I saying loaf. <laughs> Steph says loaf. Julie's saying that's a loaf. <laughs> oh, it's, it's definitely a loaf. I did yeah. grab yeah. my sugar cookie dough bread. Night, Courtney. Courtney's getting sleepy. I know this is a late night. Night, Courtney. Oh, bye, Courtney. Sleep tight. It's not 11 o'clock. Well, almost. <laughs> Natalie says this is the one she's been looking forward to the most. Yeah, I would I would say well, this is good. So if you like by the fireplace, for sure. And then it's got the sugar, sugar cookie bread. Mm -hmm. So good. Or sugar cookie royal, I'm sorry. And the bakery dough. Have you guys tried his sugar cookie royal separate? I ordered a small like Q bag and it smells pretty good. It's really, yeah, yeah, I feel like this would be a good blend. It is. It's it's good. Now I'm up to four loaves. I like it. Yeah, mm. you really shouldn't have joined us if you didn't want to buy loaves. <laughs> yeah, mm. it's good. But I got I, six loaves. 
You've got six loaves? Uh-huh. I got four. Which which ones are your loaves, I Chris? I've got beachy beans as a loaf, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, holiday truffle, mm -hmm. uh, the good stuff, treats by the fireplace, and mad tea party. Summer, what do you have? Or is there anything that's not a loaf? I was yeah. about to say, I have everything except for that one I said I was skipping. Just kidding. I've got two loves of Mad Tea Party, so I'll probably not get, I don't know, two loves is enough. Summer, two loves is enough. But I'm definitely going to get the new um, roasted pine cone, whatever that blend is. Sorry, Mark, I don't have the list because I was Rust, relying on you. Rustic cookie, Kevin. Rustic cookie. That one, yes. Getting that one, I'm getting treats by the fireplace. I'm getting beach evenings and what was the other one? The good stuff. Good stuff. I yeah. have loads of calm down Jamal or else I would be getting that because it's phenomenal. And oh thank you. Um what was the oh well, fantastic marshmallow dreams. I'm gonna get that in a loaf. Oh. Would also be doing pumpkin pie pound cake if I didn't already have two, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm doing a chunk because I have this a loaf gonna, and a mini loaf. This is a judgment free zone, confessions of a waxaholic, you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So there you go. And there was one oh the Marsala chai. I'm kind of I don't know if I'm gonna do a loaf. I think I may just do a chunk of that one. Christine. Not too bad. What do you, I have four loaves do? and I think I'm gonna hold hold true to the four. Um, and I, they haven't swayed because of you Wex and elbowers over here. Um, <laughs> calm down, Jamal, because it flew out of my cart. Um, so that's a loaf. The rustic cookie cabin, the good stuff, and then trees by the fireplace are all loaves. Um, but I'm still on the fence. The rest are chunks with the exception of... Um, I'm kind of nervous about the holiday truffle. So I'm on the fence about that one, too. And pumpkin pie pound cake, I already have a loaf in, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think for me, I have beach evenings and cookies, so I don't know that I need a loaf. So I might just get a chunk of that one since I have the other one. Um, oh, I don't know. I think I might do some chunks. Um, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, I think I'll do a chunk. Calm down, Jamal. I have a mini loaf already. And then I have a loaf of off the wall, which is basically calm down, Jamal, with Palo Santo. Oh, well. that was so good. I feel like I have a loaf. I have plenty of, of that kind of scent. So I'm going to I'm going to skip that one for now. But if I didn't have those other ones, I would definitely get would definitely get a loaf. The Furtastic Marshmallow Dreams. Man, I think I'm going to get a loaf. So that would be my first loaf. Holiday truffle. I'll try that in a chunk. Let's get cozy. I have that right now. Um, so I might just get a chunk. Mad <clears throat> tea party. I'll do a loaf. Marsala chai. I will do a chunk. Pumpkin pie pound cake. I already have a, have a loaf. So I don't need any more right now. Um, and then I also have a loaf of spiced buttercream delight which is it's kind of has that same pumpkin Ooh. note um so i'm good on that one and then rustic cookie cabin i will get a loaf and then i already have a loaf of the good stuff and treats by the fireplace so yeah so i'll get a mix of mostly chunks and maybe two loaves <laughs> awesome I know, and that's why I got loaves, Amy, because he's taken off for a few months. I'm like, I need to have his stuff last me a while. Uh, Pearl is asking, how is his raspberry? I'd say it's fruity. creamy fruity. Yeah, it's a creamy fruity raspberry. Yeah. Well, my list is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Sorry, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my what, life. What are you getting, Maggie? Damage. Four loaves, treats by the fireplace, the good stuff, rustic cabin, and let's get cozy. Every 
three, let's see, chunks in, what is it called? The Furtastic, the Truffle, the Chai, Pumpkin Pie. Beach Evenings, I have that loaf. I just got to find it. I know it's here. I just cannot fathom what I've done with a whole loaf of wax. It's gone. So, yeah. I'm even going to try calm down Jamal. <laughs> Yay. Good night, Natalie. Bye, Natalie. Bye, Natalie. Good night, Matt. Let's see. I'm seeing if I missed any questions. Are there any other questions? Um, zucchini bread. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let me know if there's any questions I might have missed. So how long is he closing for at the beginning of the year? Because now I'm like, do I need to stock up some more? You okay, think you don't need to stock up some more? You're, you're you fine. You need to. You have okay, enough yeah, wax. Yeah. You <laughs> have like 30 pounds of Knowles Farm right. pens. I know you do. Have yeah, March, that right. It's March or April, pounds. I think he said. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think he's. Yeah, I've got he's enough. Done. What am I even talking about? It's fine. I, I couldn't even find my loaves. I have so much wax. That's what I was digging mm -hmm. through while I was gone. So I don't even know where I put the two loaves. <laughs> so it's just to show you, I do not need any more. That cabinet is overflowing. It is not organized anymore, Martha. It is just a mishmash of the drawers had a method, but there's no method now. That was like in less than two months, you fill that sucker up. Yep. <laughs> So Pearl is asking beach evenings or boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Yeah, I was just going to ask the same question because I have chunks and I'm not getting lobes, but one or the other. That's tough. Yeah. Um, I would say beach evenings. Really? If I had to recommend to somebody. Boardwalk marshmallow clouds is great, and you can mix it with anything. I'm not a mixer though. I like. I mean, I'll mix it if I don't like something to try yeah. to make it better. But I don't like to just mix. Yeah, to mix. I love to mix. So Pearl, like, what do you what do you warm? What do you like? Like, do you like to mix things? Do you like beat nights? Give us your preferences, and then let us recommend. <laughs> Uh, does he offer after pay and free shipping? He does offer free shipping over $75, I believe. Mm -hmm. And after pay, if you have the shop app, which I believe, so he uses shop, right? So I think shop has after pay, but that's through the app, not through him. She loves mixing and she likes beat tonight. Well, you're making it hard for us, mm -hmm. girl. Get a chunk of both. <laughs> Do, yes, I was just going to say the chunk of both. Yeah, that's what I have too. And then you'll be able to tell if you like his beach nights. Right. Yeah. So, because yeah. he's going to come out with more beach nights blends, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, his beach nights and cookies are yeah. good. When I asked him to pour loaves, he said he wasn't pouring it. And then he started pouring it. I was like, what, what, what the heck? But his, <laughs> his beach night and cookies is really good. That's the um, one I got. His beach nights is really pretty. It's It's mm -hmm. really good. It already yeah. disappeared, but I had it. <laughs> We're so disappearing loads away. everywhere up in here. Yeah, I have no idea where those loads are. <gasps> They're probably up in one of my cabinets in my office because that's where it's starting to trickle. Yeah, his beach nights is really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. I can only get one. Which one? Oh, my mm. God. Oh God. Wait, like That's one between each <laughs> from the whole <laughs> list? One... From the whole list or between those two? Because if it's the whole list, I'm still going with pumpkin pie pound cake. Yeah. I'm going treats by the fireplace. Me too. Me too. Sorry, I got to. It's just, it's so good. What if you could only pick one? <laughs> oh gosh. If you can only pick one, let me see. 
tough questions tonight. <laughs> if you could only pick one, I'm going to go with Christine and say pumpkin pie pound cake, but his treats by the fireplace is pretty good. So it depends on what you like. If you like really bakery right. tents, if you like more bakery, then I would definitely get the pumpkin pie pound cake. If you like smoky, those smoky kind of scents, then treats by the fireplace. I think that one's more well-rounded too. Like it's got a little bit of everything treats yeah. by the fireplace as opposed to just pumpkin. The whole yeah. The whole list. Yeah. Yeah. I think treats by the fireplace because I feel like, well, first of all, I love it, but I feel like I can warm it without getting tired of it. Like every day. Whereas the other one, I might be like, oh, it's too much bakery. This mm -hmm. one I could warm every single day, literally. Yeah, that's a good point, Summer. That is, yeah. That's a great point because I've, I've melted a lot of pumpkin this week. So I'm like, I need a break. <laughs> I need a break from pumpkin. I, I did a little too much. So that may be two loaves of treats by the fireplace. To be Chris, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, if it's something you could do every day, you go through that loaf really quick. Now so. you sound like Steph. <laughs> Isn't that great? Have you guys ever melted his, get this on, his circus jam? Yeah. Well, not melted, but I, I got know, it. No, but I have it. I haven't melted it either. I've had this for quite a while. I need to melt this. You've never melted it? No. I've chopped it. I'm like ready. <laughs> Look at my nasty bag. <laughs> See, that's what happens. The bag gets nasty. <laughs> it smells so good. It does. It's it's good. I'm I'm gonna keep this out. I'm not gonna put this I just out. got mine, so I don't wanna melt it yet. Well, Christmas I wrote day. the month and the day instead of the month and the year. So I don't know if I got this this May or last May. Oh. So I'm going to keep it out. Amy says it's great. She oh, melted good. it this past week. Good. Oh, okay. I'm keeping it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you smelling, Summer? Oh, <laughs> I, was, I was smelling like, by the fireplace, and then I moved to warm the soul because I feel like they're so similar, but I love both of them. And then now I'm smelling this roasted pine cone blend I did with him, and I'm so freaking excited for that roasted pine cone blend. Like, I may get two loaves of that because I'm crazy. It's so good. But I'm just smelling all my loaves over here, you know. What I do, I gotta go find time, but it was. I'm like, what is she smelling? <laughs> Everything, all the things, oh. two bags of chunks. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, microwave the loaves. Smart, yeah. yeah, I agree. But again, you still have to chop these. Yeah, the chunks are still, you still have to chop them. Yeah, but mm. less kind chopping, of easier. Though. Yeah. Definitely less chopping. Yeah, so if you've never, and this is, you know, what I'd say to anyone, and I'm sure everyone knows this, but if you've never tried them before, I'd say, yeah, go small because you don't know what, you know, how it's going to perform in your home. So don't go getting loaves like all of us. Um, but he will be going away for a while. <laughs> so just, but he'll come back. He'll come back. But I know he's, uh, but then he just, when he was on here earlier, he said he was going to have a, a Black Friday. Mm -hmm. He said thing. early Black Friday sale because he's not doing a release. So I don't know if he's going to do a sale for this pre-order, which is what I'm kind of hoping for. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, like Pretty after, cool. almost kind of similar with all the other vendors do is after the pre-order, then they'll have, you know, like Teddy B's where they're like, oh, well, here's the rest. Yeah, hmm. maybe. Yeah. But yeah, I don't I don't think he's going to go anywhere. So because even when he he was on the live with us and Chris was like, "Oh, I have to go buy all." Be like, "Are you going away? Like I have to go and buy right now." <laughs> he did say, you know, if if things get really good, you know, this could be his sole thing. So I don't think he's going to go anywhere. Yeah. No, he's not going anywhere. His his plan yeah. is to open a store actually. So yeah. he's not going anywhere, but he's going to take a break. Yeah, I'm gonna in work the for beginning him. of the year, he's he's going to Hawaii or something, so he's taking a break. 
So this um, is his last opening until March or April. He yeah. said he might do something in January, but that's iffy. So we're just going to pretend for, you know, for ordering sake, this is his last one. So should probably stock up more. Yeah. Uh, where can I buy poly bags? I get them from clearbags.com. Me too. Same. I was just yep. typing uh, that out. Um, mm -hmm. I go to, uh, I think it's called For the Love of All Things Wax. Oh. Oh. Is that a blog? Is it a what? What is that? Is it a website? It's a website. Like a oh, okay. Hmm. I went yeah, to Clearbags because um, Erica said that because I asked her where she got her bags because everybody was in awe that my bags were clean after I chopped them. And I was like, I don't know, maybe it's the bags that Erica used. So then I'm like, Erica, where'd you get your bags? And that's where she told me. Yeah. <laughs> Do the Clearbags. Clearbags.com. And they have, and make sure they're poly propylene and not polyethylene. Yes. <laughs> so I learned that the hard way. Me too. Um, so probably poly pro. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it sucks the scent out. It's the opposite. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and then the, they have them in all kinds of sizes. So what I've done, cause I've gotten my bags there is I'll measure what this one is and then I'll get the inch, like an inch bigger. <laughs> and so, um, and then they'll double, ba I double bag them. So that's what I use it for. I'm on this for all love of all things wax. They have good prices on their bags. Very I've never been prices. on this website before. And they're okay. they're the quality is good. They're nice. They're heavy and thick. Okay. Well, now I'm gonna go too. You know. Yeah, for a hundred, <laughs> the six by nine. I think that's what I buy a lot because it fits a brittle. I think the six mm -hmm. by nine, like yeah. a normal yeah. size, like a sassy girl brittle. They're nine dollars for a hundred. That's pretty yeah. good. What? Right? Isn't that right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Welcome. Oh, it's fall. Charlie Brown, Rebecca. Yes. I wish I had a loaf oh, of that. It's good. It's so good. I just melted that the other day, and I felt like I just I was like I want to warm it every single day. It's yeah. zucchini bread, and that is so good. I'm writing your place down though too. Uh, for love, for love of all things wax. Yep. Oh. They even have cutters. I'm gonna get another one. I always fight with one cutter. I just need to get more. There's a lot of stuff on this plate. Now we're all shopping. I finally got it's a fall Charlie Brown for the first time, so I'm oh, excited. Oh, so good. I'm excited to warm that one. Are you guys doing the Mario pre-order next weekend? I'm going to try to skip it. No. And I'm asking for customs. Anybody, she just posted, if you have a customs blend that you want to create. So anybody have an idea? She's asking for ideas. All for Mario? Yeah. I didn't even know she announced the date. I, was being I didn't either. I did it. Yeah, I I'm gonna. I'm gonna I kind of went like ham last year, so I think I'm gonna skip it. I do love her fire Mario. Mm, I don't need any, but if I still had mine, I'd send it to you, Maggie. But I shipped it off to no, Bright I'll send. I don't. It has I think coffee I, I think in I it, have right? Two bags. I'm pretty sure I have two bags. <laughs> it has coffee in it, right? Is yeah. it espresso? Yeah, it went by. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, I, I got that one in um, it was Fire Mario and something else. Mm. I got she offered it a few months back and I got it. So it's yeah. a blend. I don't have pure fi Fire Mario, but I love it. I mean, it's so yeah, good. <laughs> and then the other one I love, I just got from Summer in a D stash, uh, Penguin Mario. It has the spearmint in it and the sweater weather. And I love that one. So I think I have four bags of that now. So I really don't need any more, right? No, no. <laughs> so I have four right. now. The Mario pre-order is so good, though. Like, there's it so is. many. If you've never done it, I feel like you should do it because mm -hmm. there's some super good ones. Yeah. You guys, like Koopa Claus is coming to town is one of my favorite blends ever from Rose Girls. It's Don't so good. I've never done the Mario pre-order. Oh my god! I think her Mario blends are amazing. 
They're I, so I have good. some, like I have Mario, because I think she's had them, you know, they're they're definitely Mario blends that I've ordered. I have like Mario Home for the Holidays. That's a good one. So I have that one. I have a couple of them, something in Cookie, Cookie Land. Um, Forest of Illusion. Y'all need to try that. Oh, it's man. So good. I have that, that on the must try list. and Campfire Lavender, Cookies isn't it? and Vanilla Woods. Yeah, it's, yep. it's, it's good. All right. I might, I might have to do a small order. <laughs> She's got another one. If you like, um, is it shadow queen? Yes. Can you do that one, Maggie? Like, yes. I like that's 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 right it's, um, yeah. I'm looking at it right now. It's Lord of Misrule, Marshmallow Fireside, Tobacco, Vanilla, Suede, Leather, Old Library Books, Fireplace. I mean, you gotta like that. That's mm -hmm. yeah. I love that one. <laughs> I can't yeah. do another vendor. Yeah, <laughs> Chris, if, you, if you stick around, we'll just keep you shopping. Um, because I just said Kristen. I wasn't gonna do the Mario pre-order, and you guys are like forced illusion, shadow queen. I'm like, I know I'm thinking I wasn't gonna do it. Uh, Mario Mario Thanksgiving Amy. is also good. Just FYI, yes, you like sweet potato. I have I, it is really good. I have that in there. But who said did, was it one of you guys that said that her stuff doesn't stay? So like I'm nervous to that's what I'm worried about. I have two bags, like I mean, two drawers of that gray I, unit of Rose Girls. So yeah, I've heard oh. after like a year, it the scent kind of yeah. fizzles out. It depends. I'll say if it's just straight bakery. I wouldn't do it for it. But I mean, like shadow roll, some of the like earthier, the tree blends for me throw after a year. But I feel like that's true of any vendor, right? Bakery is always the lightest and it's the first to go. But um, yeah, I, I like her like Forest of Illusions, I feel like would perform after a year, but like maybe not a sweet princess party. That's just like, you know, cake and cupcakes mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to be good. Hold me to it. I'm going to be good. I'm going to skip it. I have another order from Rose Girls coming this week, and I didn't. I don't remember ordering it, so I'm gonna <laughs> I had to that. remind you that it was Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs. I, 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 oh, oops! That I have one that's too. exactly what it is. That's exactly <laughs> what that order is. It's your it pre order. I made you get it, Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs. You know, that is what so that order good. is. I'm like, I don't remember yeah. ordering. I contacted a vendor once and told her she sent me an order that wasn't mine because I forgot I made an order. That's how was, that it was. No, it was that Britta's where you're like, yeah. I think you, <laughs> yeah, I, I remember your video. video. That was so funny. I saw that video too. Yeah. You made me buy Britta's after that. So thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I just yeah. tried my first Brita's this week and it was amazing. So um, I love her. Stuff I, I get her. She, I'm a coffee person, but she has a coffee with Barnwood. It's called Mornings at Crystal Lake. I'm gonna put a chunk in the round robin. I don't. I gotta look and see who's left that might still like coffee, but it is my absolute favorite. So good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's a question from Megan. Has anyone ever melted crystal shopping from Sassy Girl? No. I do not I have that one. Rolling pin is really good. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think I ordered that one in that pre-order. I, I was I was sucked in because everyone was like, do you see the list? And then it was like 15 deep. And I think rolling pin was on it. <laughs> but I haven't <laughs> smelt it yet. Maggie, is that your daughter? It is. Hi, Presley. <laughs> oh, I missed it. <laughs> Did she poke her head in? Yeah. She commented, yes. Yeah, she, oh, okay. She's like, can I join? And I said, no. I said, you can watch and comment <laughs> if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard of sea sugar. I was going to, and then I, it just seemed complicated, and I said, no, I'm going to pass. I've got two half loaves I'm putting in the round robin. Who's left? None of y'all are left. Right? Yeah. No, I haven't gotten it yet. Chris, I'm oh, Martha. Huh? You, you're next, oh, Martha. Martha. Oh, I'm next. See? Oh, I just we just spoiled it. No. Oh. Spoiler alert. Spoiler oh, Christine, alert. See, you're you haven't. I was. First. I have it. Oh yes, yeah. Christine had it first. I don't have yes. it marked off. Yep, I kicked it off after. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, crap! I didn't mark you off. Good to know, Susan. Okay, Susan, that's good. 
Wait, going back to Knowles here. I always get it wrong. Um, oh, what time zone would that be at? So his oh, does it start at five or six Central Time. I think they did six in his last one. Maybe he did five or. But I think this that. one is five. Okay. So hold on, let me do the math. Because if you're in Hawaii, you're three hours behind me. I'm in California, so hold on. <laughs> let me do the math here. So if he starts at five Central, that would be three. Oh gosh, that would be. Two no, that would be you'll be three, right? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, three o'clock your time. So that would be twelve o'clock their time. Twelve right? o'clock Hawaii time. Yep. Wait a minute. Amy. Central time? I think he's five central time, which yeah. would be noon Hawaii time. But you're you're not three hours behind central. You're two no, hours. I'm two. Yeah, I'm okay. Two. Yeah. I was All right. I was confused. Okay. Amy said she didn't have a good experience with sea sugar. Um, um, can you elaborate? Yeah. Um, I've never ordered from them before. Oh, my God. I think Maggie has some. Do you have some, Maggie? Yeah. Let me see here. <laughs> I have a box ready for the round robin. So I have a carb day and Tiffany. So it's like a cupcake, some Tiffany's, and a bread, kind of. And then... I put some key lime pie in the last round robin from Sea Sugar. Did, Christine, did you get that? I nabbed it. Yeah. Okay. So here's the funny thing about that. When I got it, there was like a like a paper towel on the bottom of it, and there were like there was like black spots on it. I thought that was really really weird. But these did not have that. Did it? I, did it I, like start like changing? Off. Hold on. What was the other one? And then I have zucchini cake from them. I've had three loaves. And funny thing is, she has a way of doing it. She has an order. And I did it wrong and placed an order, but I jumped in line. But I didn't realize I was jumping in line because I had never done it before. I didn't know what I was doing. And she kicked my order out. And so she's like, you have to get back in line. So I got back in line. It was no big deal. It was my fault. I did it wrong, you know. But I just didn't know. There, like everyone had a a time like, slot, a time slot kind of, and I, yeah. I did, I, I did it wrong. Is her wax that. like really good for you? Like, does it perform well? Because I feel like I can't be bothered to do that. It's too much work. It was okay. Yeah. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah, you're right. There's like no some brown specks at the bottom. Yeah. But I yeah. think it was because a paper towel was left like in the bottom of the loaf pan and then the wax was on top of it. So I think the, the colors from the paper towel got on the wax. My it's other cool. ones were not like that. It smells so, good. That's yeah, why I kept I mean, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a tart lime. Yes. It You're is. right. Yeah. It's different than like a creamy, like my cocoa lime to crumb top. Yeah. Yeah. I still have to try that one. It got cold though now. Any yeah, other like vendors? Are we planning on buying anything else? Yeah. <laughs> Who are we missing? Well, we have the Mario pre-order, which I'm going to skip. I'm going to be good. I'm just not, don't tell me. No one text me. No one tell me. No one text me. No one tell me what she's offering. No more marshmallow fluff. <laughs> um, I know I've stuff. said this, but I have to stop. I don't have anywhere to put this stuff anymore. I, I, I'm serious. Like my, my husband's like, you need a wax room. And I've been joking with the group, but seriously, guys. I'm going to have to kick one of my kids out. <laughs> Bad. Yeah. Tell them to share a room. Brad's words to me were, when is enough enough? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that right now. <laughs> Clearly the lemon does new, not exist. When no new smells. Right. Or around. But I am yeah. running out of room. So I do have to. I do have to. I'm said, I'm gonna try to be role. good, said, but I've been <laughs> I've been saying that since end of September, but um, 
I did not get sassy girl today. So I was good there. Um, I only got three school. brittles. I did good. You did good. Cause we talked you down from 30. I you used a gift card <laughs> and they had a sale. So I, I was good too. Sort of. Madeline and Speckles Christmas RTS. Yeah, you're not helping. Yeah, I'm that. Stressly. <laughs> she was start putting stuff in her room. <laughs> At least it'll smell nice. It's right. Oh, you know, you know what my daughter said? She's like, Mommy, you could use my drawers. <laughs> oh. oh. So sweet. How cute. Yeah. I sent Presley back to college today with Cincy a whole laundry system from Cincy. She goes, I think you're making me high maintenance. <laughs> no, a little bit. Bad. Yep. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Amy, love and I would love speckles. to do... Oh, sorry, go oh, sorry, go ahead, Summer. I was just answering her question. Um, Amy, unfortunately, I'm going to be on a flight, I think, unless I can just like finagle to like Wi-Fi really quickly. I think I'm not gonna be able to do candles from the keeping room. I'm gonna try, but I leave that morning for an international flight. So, you know, if the wax gods are in my favor, maybe, but probably not. You can be Which like I Martha on a boat. <laughs> hey, right? Hey, if I can order on a boat, you can order anywhere. I would That's love true. to have seen that. Oh my God, you I have can't no even. Idea. I was, I was going like, 35, 40 miles an hour, just like, oh like my this. God. I think my, my, my phone wouldn't fly out of my hands into the San oh Francisco God. Bay. It, I and I'm looking, I'm like, is anyone see what I'm doing? <laughs> no, it was, but I had great internet, I guess, out in San Francisco Bay. I was able to get road girls <laughs> before I got on the boat. And then as we were flying back, uh, I got Travis's, uh, <laughs> Travis's order in. <laughs> No more um, till 24. Super. I um, I did warm my first <clears throat> lavender and speckles this past week because Summer threw in some extras in my D stash. So I did some of that speckles. Oh, what a cake. surprise. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I knew she would. Yeah. <laughs> Share wax love. Share is wax that a good summer at all? Y'all take it. Is amazing. I mean, it is so damn good. Oh, speckled oh. birthday cake? Yeah. What is the scent notes in that? Because I got a sample and I said summer like raves about this because I just yeah. did my haul today. Yeah, it's birthday cake, sugar cookies, pecan waffles, cinnamon, vanilla, and lots of palo. I knew there was cinnamon Super in there. Super okay. strong, but there were the three. I think this probably came from a sampler. So there were three pieces. And then there were three pieces of this one, which is Tiffany's Palo Santo and coffee. So I cut them all up and did the, the two together. Oh my gosh. It was heaven. So yeah. gotta get more. I'm glad you love it. Yes. Apollo is so good. Yes, oh, it's amazing. I didn't realize, but I think Courtney mentioned it in her video that because I do have, I think it's breakfast at the Dragonfly Inn. I think that's what it's called, is Speckles birthday cake with like one other coffee. note. And I was like, oh, coffee. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I have that one. It's good. It'll be good. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be good. I'm going to, uh, the, the lavender and speckles RTS, she's offering one called Christmas wreath, which I fell in love with last year, but I really want to skip it because I'm trying to be good. So I don't know. I, I think I'm going to skip that one because I, I think I am too. that's on there. There were, she had a couple blends that I think had Palo in it that I thought sounded really good though. If I remember. Where did I see well, that? If I go in, Martha, I'll order it. I'll get it for you. Okay. That's all I really want. <laughs> um, it's Christmas wreath. It, yes. Or she, maybe she changed the name. I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Just text me when you I think, yeah, it. no, it's called Christmas wreath. I think last year when I bought it, it was called Citrus wreath. And I think okay. she changed it to Christmas wreath. Um, and Christina, yes, you need to try Green Machine. That's an automatic. Yes. That's loaf worthy to me. Yes, that's a loaf. Yes, absolutely. It's a must have. Okay, it's she's so good. She's got two palos on the Christmas one that I might have to do. Palo Santa, which I don't know what that is, and Christmas Figgy Palo. Palo Santa is my blend, and you have to get it because it's oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to get it. Are you going oh, in for the RTS? That? 
uh, Maybe. summer. Yeah. I'm going to do like a, a, a seriously, like even for me, like a small order, just a few things. Cause I want to try my blend and I want to try, there's a few other ones. I'm not going to do like I normally do with her. What's the Santa in Palo Santa? Um, Lord, I don't even know. I don't remember. That was so long ago. I feel like, when did she do that? Hold on. I'll look really quick. I'm green machine. I ordered that in the last one. And everyone's like, why are you ordering that? You don't like the stash. And I'm like, I'll try it. Oh, because everyone's saying that it's not almond. It's not cherry. So I'm trusting well, you ladies. Wait, who and said if it's I don't not like almond? It, oh, yeah, who said it wasn't almond? It, or cherry. I think it's I don't know that. who. I don't know who told you that, but there's oh, it's green machine. It's is a, a cherry. All right, it's, well then I'm spilling it up and I'm sending it to you all. So it's again. a cherry almond. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> um, Maggie, Paulo. Oh, I remember now. It's Paulo Santa's Donut Shop in Palo Santo, which is my favorite, and roasted pine cones. So yeah, you'll um, like it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think I'll go in for two. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have Teddy B's RTS. I'm hoping to skip it. I'm skipping. And I'm not until I melt some more. I just am not having good luck. So with everything or just bakery? Bakery mostly. Yeah. I've got to start though. I gotta start warming it so I can see. But again, I it I think it all depends. Like everyone's like, oh, I just put like there's some people that when they post like Teddy B's and it's like just like a shaved piece off of a loaf. I'm like, who are you kidding? I literally take the souffle and I chop that sucker up and I put half of that souffle in my open concept. So I think it just really depends on your house and your ceilings. And everyone says less is more with her, but mm -hmm. it sometimes it depends. I typically go heavier with Teddy bees depending on the scent. So that's just me, but. Well, I've got a like, lot to try, so. Like honeybee, honeybee, I like love, but you really have to use it um, not sparingly because it is a lighter blend with the sugar cookie and the honey in it. Mm -hmm. um, but I have three, well, excuse me, I have four lobes of it. So I will have it for a while. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's yeah. a good blend. It's soft, but it's beautiful. Like, I don't know. I do. I, I I mean, the only reason I'm not getting the RTS is because I went big on the pre-order. So I'm well, hoping I got everything I needed. You all. I, I spent like $500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Because we did a live. We did a live yeah, going through that cool. list and everything. That's right. The list just grew and grew and grew. And I think Steph said she went back like four times. <laughs> she got all loaves, right? She got like 20-something yeah. loaves. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, good night, Susan. God. Bye, Susan. Good night, Bye, Susan. Susan. Um, I always like get FOMO with Teddy B's RTS because she always like pours so much that wasn't in the pre-order, and I'm like, I need all of it. So yeah. I feel like she's gonna throw Game of Thrones in there, Chris. I really do, because of the time of year. I don't know. Well, you know what? Because I ordered so much in the pre-order, because I says I'm not fooling around this time and trying to get in an RTS. I ordered everything I wanted. And everything I was unsure of, I got in a souffle, which was only like nine. The rest is like 20, 22 tubs and a loaf. I don't know. So for the RTS, if anything she pours that's not in the pre-order, I'm going straight for that now. Yeah. Yeah. She sneaks them in there. That's the yeah, I'm going to go for them She'll sneaky like, ones. New blood goes back. And like, really, thanks. Right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the January pre-order, I will order, but I'm going to try to avoid the RTS. Yeah. I'm going to try to warm a lot, lot more. I'm going to try to focus on it and really see. Because How I do love yours, blend. Hmm? How old is yours? Uh, I have some that's a year old. Ready to, really? I know. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And it's still yeah, not just, working? You know. Oh, hi, Olivia. Um. <laughs> We're going to have the whole damn town in a coma on here before long. Okay. <laughs> 19 and 20 year olds. Um, you know, I, I say that I'm not, I'm just a novice Teddy B's warmer. I am not that experienced. So for right now, the things that I've tried, the performance has not been what I want, 
But like I said, I'm just a novice at it. I, I'm not going to even say that I've got a ton of experience. Yeah, I load up my warmers. I don't. I know people are yeah. like, oh, half an ounce. I'm like probably an ounce and a half, maybe even more than that. In a yeah, warmer. I do that. Okay. No, I'm right. I want to yeah. smell it. I don't want it to be like a faint little. No, I want to smell it wafting through my home. I yes. load mine up. I, I do. I do. Okay. Yeah, the the one that I sent you, Chris, the laden lace. Yes, that was. I went through a whole souffle. That was part. I saved the bag and I just put part of the tub that I chopped up in okay. there. So that was like like a quarter of the tub. But I warmed through a whole souffle of hers in a matter of a month. So, I mean, and that's my bedroom bathroom. So I, right. I think, and that's a light light one to begin with because it's lace and oh, just so a, pretty. It's a very nice perfumey scent, mm -hmm. but again, I wouldn't go, Maggie, I would just try a little more and see if it works okay. because I've had pretty good luck with it. It was the same thing with Dessa's and Sassy Girl. I was like, I don't, everyone's raving about performance and I'm like, okay, maybe I'm not putting enough. So it's like, okay, let's give it a whirl and put a big, huge chunk mm -hmm. in all four of my warmers and it made a difference. So okay. I think it just depends on the warmer. I'm going to give it a try. Out. Yeah, Sassy Girl. I'm not Twitter. I do two two little squares. Yeah. I think I do two squares in almost everything. Rose Girls, I have two yeah. squares in my warmers. Uh, with Teddy Bees, I do use a tea light warmer as well. So I'll put a few in some warmers and then I pump it with the tea light warmer. Yeah, that's true too. I I, I tend to warm my Teddy Bees and that the Yankee tart ones in those cups that you talked oh, about yeah. martha on your vlog one day oh, yeah. or fridays yeah those little cups i put the teddy bees in in my uh yankee tart warmers and it seems to help too okay so i have a question so for those of you who use tea light warmers do you do you have to change your wax out more because it's so yes. hot that it burns yes. it off so fast and that's that's kind of what i was finding Yes, but I'll put a lot more wax or I'll sometimes what I'll, yeah, I'll put more wax in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but going back to Knowles, we didn't talk about what we use for Knowles. I actually found that I don't like putting his in tea light warmers because it's almost too much and the fragrance goes too fast. I actually prefer to use Knowles in just like my Scentsy warmer and then maybe mm -hmm. one hot plate warmer. But, but that's just my own preference because I found like I put, I think cheat day in a tea light and it just blasted through the scent. Yeah. But I also use these. It's hot. It's kind of hot, but they're these little aluminum cups yeah. and I'll put these in the hot plate in my hot plate warmer. So right now I have, what is that? Cozy it's the Knowles one. It's the cozy nights. I have some of the somewhere. Yeah. But this is like an egg souffle tin and I got it from Amazon. Yeah. And I put those on my hot plates and then I pop them in. I have those too, Maggie. Yeah, I they're kind of paper. Too. They kind of feel yeah, like I have those, those don't work for me. Those don't work for me. I do silicone or aluminum. Do those work? Oh, for I don't me, like Maggie? the silicone ones because it has that flaky. Doesn't it flake on the outside? Yeah. I just tap it in my trash can. Okay. I don't know. I'm used yeah, to I have it, these. I just haven't used them yet. I'm those I cannot get any throw from them. Really? That's yeah. what I'm afraid of. It, they they usually work for me because like Martha again you talked about them and I just went on Amazon whatever link you add I bought and I use them up in my the Yankee warmer tart upstairs and then I just pop it out and it's so much easier for like the Teddy Bees Rose Girls and whatever else but I get pretty decent throw but again these are small spaces I don't use yeah. them in my open concept and then I tried these and so aluminum is a good heat conductor so it's not paper yeah, so these okay. work really well. Um, and then I pop these in the freezer for like 15 minutes and the wax just falls out. So I do like these. Do you um, link those? I have to try, I'm those. try them. Yeah, I'll link them. Okay. Um, let's see here. I use six hour tea lights and we'll change. I do that too, Sonny. I did that today at a six hour tea light and I just changed my wax midway and then put some new wax. Okay. Um, what is this? Megan does so back the same to thing. Teddy B's, just one more thing. Sorry, I know I'm harping. But like the one bakery scent that I've tried from her that threw pretty decent for me is patisserie. Have you guys tried that? No. It I was I was kind of shocked because I was like, this isn't gonna do anything. I don't even know why I'm warming it. 
and it threw pretty well. Um, it was a year old, maybe like 13 months old, but it did it did pretty well for me. I don't yeah, know it's pretty hefty. You sent it to me, Summer, or a, and it was I just a bakery. Yeah, I like yeah, it's just straight. It, I had a huge chunk in it, but yeah, it, the it bag's really pretty well. big. Yeah, it, it's it 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 performed pretty well for me, and it was a little piece that you cut up. And I just had it because I've been trying to change my wax at the later part of the day since I have so much of it. <laughs> yeah. I have the patisserie and NYC. That's the one that I have. I, have I haven't tried that one. Okay. I have it, but I haven't warmed it. But I'm sure hopefully it'll do well since the other one did maybe. But it surprised me. Her cookies okay. and cream did really well for me. That one did well for me. And then a non-bakery one, Midnight Rosewood, that I had to turn off a warmer because it was so strong. Really? Yeah. Wow. Perfect. Do you guys want to know how much teddy bees I have? Yes. Yeah. I have 89 souffles. I have four sam I, I at one time I was putting samples in my spreadsheet, so I'll leave that out. Okay, 89 souffles, 23 tubs, and seven loaves. That's not that bad. It's not too bad. Someone's like, I have a hundred loaves. <laughs> you guys here with my mouth open, going. And I don't like, even know. <laughs> I don't even know how many because I like stopped doing a spreadsheet because it was like seriously no. So I you, got you stopped doing. A, me. You stopped doing a spreadsheet so you wouldn't have to see how much you have. Exactly. exactly. I tried to start it again as new orders are coming in, but that's really not working well either. So no, I was like. But it's two plays, though, you guys. It's not like she has 89 loaves. Right. No, I want to see Summer's stash. No. He's no. never shown it. I was just going to yeah, say, Summer, you need to show, like, how you, video. Like, you should do oh a little God. video. Bring your camera in. Yep. And I want to see. I want to yeah, see it. Your... It's pretty bad. I told I Anya, see I actually it. met her the other day, and I was like, you should come over and see this hot mess express. Because it used to be so organized, and now I just can't. It's like. Rubbermaid bins everywhere of just like yeah. stuff. How many? That's do you have weird. any idea how many brittles you have from Sassy? I don't. I do not. I actually just destashed a ton, and it's about halfway full now. It used to be like overflow into a second one, and so now I'm like half, half a bin. So it's, uh, it's 156. Not oh, that I'm many. Okay. I don't think I have that many. I think you have over 200. You do? <laughs> Could be. I mean, she's my favorite. It's just, you know. Her stuff, her stuff. you said her stuff stays, though, right, Julie's? Yeah. I so. Oh, I love her stuff. I feel like yeah, it's getting stronger as, like, I, I melted something a year and a half old the other day, and it was it was a green machine, I think, and it was super strong. I think I only have 10 which we're going to keep it that way until the rest of them come in. So then I'll maybe have 20, but I don't have a drawer for her. So I can't. <laughs> I have a full drawer and then an overflow drawer um, on Dessa's page. Yeah. I, I was, I've heard a lot about the candle crock. I have a candle mm -hmm. lamp, which kind of is the same thing. And I've used an old, like a three wick uh, bath and body works, you know, candle jar. And I've dropped a bunch of wax mm -hmm. in there as well. Yeah. But I, but I'm thinking of getting a candle crock too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I use two. I have two two candle crocks, and I keep usually just keep an empty candle vessel in there and put my wax in there each day. I love it. Are they the same brand, or do you have two different ones? Um, they're both from Amazon. Nothing special. Just and the I the only thing I don't like about them is there's no indicator light on them to show that they're on. You have to look at that little um little twisty thing on the cord. And there's mm -hmm. a little piece of red on that little twisty thing that's gonna wear off eventually. It's just like a little bit of red paint or something. But they have no indicator light. I hate that. I don't understand huh. it. But yes, I love the candle crocs. Love them. Yeah, a lot of people struggle with Teddy Bees. I think it just depends. So I'm just looking at the comment here. And her blends are beautiful. I mean, they are. They're amazing. Her scent notes are amazing. If you're struggling, I would say do do non bakery. You know, do her tree scents, do her outdoorsy scents, do her perfumey scents, masculine scents. Don't do bakery if you struggle, and see if you do better. 
I'm not giving up. So Amy has a candle crock with a light. Oh, yours has an indicator light. Well, I think mine does too. Mine, did you get it from you. Amy? Did you get it from Amazon? And it's a link, girl. We need to order it. <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to get my son one for Christmas. Yep. Yep. Oh, it's candle, candle warmers. warmers. Okay. okay. Mine is not. So the um, candle warmers has a new um, hot plate warmer that the dish, um, I think the dish folds. Is the dish silicone or something? It's called a flip it. Flip it top or something like that. I was just looking at it. Not that I need more <laughs> warmers, but I thought it was cool. I'm going to have to look it up. Molly, she came to watch the replay. I know I said this would be a short <laughs> one. Here we are almost two hours later. We're still talking. We're still here. Although now it's just general wax. Just talking about the wax. And we're now, we've talked, let's see, TB's. I want to try Christmas trees and cream. Was that on? I think I ordered. On yeah, that, that was on her lobes. Yeah. I think Let it sit crazy. for a year, though. That's my worry is I'm going to get all these TB, you know, TB's, Teddy B's, and I'm not going to warm any of it till next year. Did but you then order it'll be good. Well, so then you won't have to order yeah. it again next year. Hmm? Did you order it, Martha? Because if you didn't, I have a cured, like, I'm sure I, I ordered. You. I'm positive I ordered a Christmas trees and cream blend. Well, let me, I mean, I can send you a cured, like some to try if you want to warm it this year. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm glad we can help Kristen. <laughs> yeah. Candle warmers has something called a flip dish wax warmer and it's, it's an element warmer. And then the dish is like silicone where it, Oops. yep. Yes. I saw, I saw that one the other day. Yeah, and they're only fifteen ninety nine. That's not bad at all. Is it like a happy wax warmer with the silicone top? That's talk? what it reminds me of. Okay, I love those. Yep. Well, and Megan just commented here and said the wa wax leaked through the silicone oh, well, dish. Too. Silicone dish. Really? <sighs> oh. Well, crap. Scratch I had that one. Silicone, I had a silicone thing from candle warmers and it would get the flaky it would just get all this flaky wax on the outside of it and it, it annoyed me. They do do that. Hmm. Rebecca, I think that's the one I ordered, Christmas trees and cream with peppermint. I'm sure I did. <laughs> Molly, we're still talking. I think we're almost done wrapping it up here. We we're just chatting. Um, she doesn't use the flip dish anymore. She just puts it straight in the warmer. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I like my little aluminum ones. That's, that's been working in my hot. Yeah. I'm going to look for those. Yeah. Me too. I will put it, you know, the, the only thing is it came, I have, well, I have a bunch of them, but it, they came with like little plastic tops too, which I just ended up throwing away because I don't need them, but I think it's for the souffles. Uh, all right. Well, any last minute, cause we're, it's almost, I know it's late for you East coasters. Um, any last minute thoughts on Knowles or anything else? No, just excited. More wax. All right. Well, don't forget this Friday pre-order. It's only a four hour window. I think, I think. Yep. Four yeah, hours. Five. Maybe yeah, five, four to or five. five to nine. Five yep. to nine. Somebody text me because I'm going to be packing and I'll forget. Okay. Five to nine, which means five for nine. Five to, see, I have to do the math again. Two o'clock my time, right? Two o'clock my time. It's six for Summer and Christine and I. And Maggie, I think you're still at Central, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm Central close. too. I'm close to travel. You're Central too? Yep. Five. For me, so yeah. really? Why do I think you were in the Eastern time? Okay, just me and you, Christine. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have to set a reminder because it's usually when I'm doing something with the kids and I'm like, it's a watch. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's like, here, watch this for 10 minutes while I order this. Yeah, just... I pulled little alar alarms on the phone. Yeah, at least it's a pre order, not an RTS. So, that's true. 
true. That was that like helps. the second and spruce Christmas sampler. I was surprised they stayed on for so long, but I was like, hurry up, it's a sampler. <laughs> Same. I went crazy and then I was like, oh, they're still there. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I went, I was in and out in two minutes and I was like surprised. Yeah. She still had some left over the next morning, I think. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah. Ew. Uh, yeah so all right well thank you thank you for joining thank you everyone in the chat i hope you enjoy your knolls and if it's your first time i hope you love it yep. and i'm gonna get i'm gonna be a couple lows and a couple chunks all right well thank you all right thanks everyone bye everybody bye. Bye. have a great night so ladies fun. take care thanks martha yeah, thank, thank you, you guys for joining for asking. Thanks, Martha. Thank you. Always. Bye, y'all. Everybody's leaving.